Guys, what is going on? Back with another video here. Yeah, I'm a little bit of messy right now because I just recorded GTA 5 and I'm gonna edit that out and didn't take a shower. It's like midnight in my house. My brother's sleeping over there. I'm not gonna wake him up. I'm gonna speak like this for the rest of the video. And this is my first ever prediction video for pay per views or network specials as they call by WWE okay starting off against NXT TakeOver War Games yeah uh, let's go yeah I got my I got my phone I gotta check it yeah this is the phone I'm using for Wrestling Revolution sometimes glitches so yeah it's a mini iPad fuck who cares so the first match it's a dark match for the United Kingdom Championship. Pete Dunne, the champion, going up against Johnny Wrestling as Johnny Gargano. And the guy, uh, the fans who attending the show live at the Toyota Center are lucky because they are the ones gonna watch this match because this not this match is a pre-show. No, not not pre-show. It's a dark match. I think we're gonna see this match on NXT the coming week. After uh, sorry about that. After NXT War Games, yeah, my and my pick for this match is Pete Dunn. He's gonna win. Pete Dunn's gonna win. And to the next match, it's for the vacant NXT Women's Championship. Yeah, it's vacated by Asuka. Yeah, sh nobody can be her, and she went to main roster and vacating the title. And surprisingly enough, she's in that Survivor Series match. And first of all, I'm going to tell the opponents. This is a Fatal 4 match, as I said it. Between Ember Moon, Kyrie Sane, Nikki Cross, and Peyton Royce from the Iconic Duo. And... Man, this is a hard pick. So Nikki Cross and Peyton Royce, they're not going to win. They're not going to win. Sorry about that. They're not going to win. So my... My pick is between Kyrie Sane or Ember Moon. So let's think about it. Kyrie Sane won the May Young Classic to get get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. So Ember Moon is chasing the belt for a long time since this year. She lost to Asuka twice back to back take off. Yeah, so I was saying so Ember Moon I I think I'm gonna go with Ember Moon with this one because she needs it. Kyrie might ch re get a rematch again someday in the future and another takeover if they have one. So my pick is Ember Moon. Yeah, Ember Moon's gonna win. Uh, I'm locking that one. Ember Moon's gonna win. And let's go to another singles match. Oh, this is my favorite one. I'm expecting high on this. One of the. Uh, Big match in this card right now on NXT, and that is Alistair Black versus Velveteen Dream. Oh, uh, I'm expe I am expecting high on this match. I I'm hoping this will be a good match, a great match. Yeah, uh, Alistair Black, he's so cool. He is so cool, so badass. That's the guy we wanted, and Velveteen Dream, Patrick Clark. You're doing a good job, man. I love you. Not in a sexual way. Uh, I mean your character and wrestling stuff. Um, my pick is none other than Patrick Clark, Valentin Dream. Uh, yeah, uh, Alistair Black didn't didn't lose any match when he come to NXT, so they're not gonna do another streak again so soon because Oscar did it. Uh, Oscar even beat Goldberg's streak 173 in a row. So Alistair Black's first log might be fell onto Velveteen Dream. So my pick is Velveteen Dream. Yes, Velveteen Dream. Um, and and on to the other match, the match I least expecting, but I will watch it because one man because one man for that, and that is Cassius Ono versus Lars Sullivan. 
So this is a Lars Sullivan guy, a big dude, big muscular dude. I think Vince got a big erection when he sucked. <laughs> mm, sorry about that. I think the, then this is the guy Vince will get erection for everything, cause he's got the muscles. He's big, yeah. And Cassius Ono, Chris Hero, the best, might be one of the best wrestlers. And he he's tag team with. Claudio Castagnoli was the best kings of wrestling and he was in NXT years before before he came, became fat uh, but he came back he pulled up some guys and lost some big matches and he's gonna lose this match so yeah Lars Sullivan is gonna win I really hope Castagnoli is gonna win the match but Lars Sullivan my pick it's Lars Sullivan. He's gonna win the match because this is his first takeover. So he's gonna need this win. And okay, this is the this is the next match for the NXT heavyweight championship. Yeah, I'm gonna say heavyweight. Okay, because this is a world title for NXT. I'm gonna say it. The NXT World Heavy uh, NXT World Heavyweight Championship. Okay, this match is for the big Big, badass, Drew McIntyre, the bearded McIntyre, not the chosen one. McIntyre against Andrade Cien Almas. Tranquilo, baby. With the Tia Trinidad, Selena Vega. So, this is an easy pick. Drew McIntyre is going to win. Or I might be wrong because he might go to main roster soon. So, he might lose to Andrade Cien Almas by... By heelish, heelish turnover, by someone interferes like Tria Trinidad. I mean Selena Vega interferes. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Drew. He's not gonna lose yet. He's gonna not gonna lose the title yet. He's gonna win. My pick is Drew McIntyre. But Andrade Almas is good though. The build up for him, Sin, Sin Selena Vega and him teamed up. Uh, it's been good for Andrade Cien almost because he was losing losing so much. God damn, losing so much, man. Good, it's a good thing for him. So, yeah, Drew, Mac but Drew Mac is gonna win this match. And off to the main event for NXT Takeover War Games. I hoping this is the main event because that's the name of this pay per view and the match. So it is first time in WWE history they doing a WCW. Uh, a gimmick match and it's called war games I didn't even watch like like once I like well, watch to one war game match and that's it I think that's the one with the the shock master and he wasn't he wasn't wearing the glitter storm to development and he's wearing like a white sleeveless t-shirt like this because but that shirt is like button yeah that I think he won that match too. Can't remember because it, it's been a long time since I watched an WCW match. So yeah, this is this is the return. I think like 20 years in the making. Tw uh, not in the making. The match 20 years. Thing. Man, I'm mumbling already. Uh, I think it's 20 years since the last World Game match. Yeah, I think it was like 1997 or 2000. Oh, sorry, it's 2000. Sorry, God damn it, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. Wrestling ranting. If you watch my video, I'm sorry. Don't. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Rant on me because I need to get famous on YouTube, baby. Uh, if wrestling ranting watching this video, sorry about that, man. I am not a 30 year old fan like you. I need to learn something, boy. I'm I'm just a young boy learning. And a wrestling fan. Okay. And. Oh yeah. God dang it. The War Games match between Authors of Pain, Akam Reza, and the newly joined Roddy Strong. Roderick Strong. My man. And. Going up against Sanity, Alexander Wolf, Eric Young, and Killian Dame. And. The last team. The Undisputed Era. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. And Adam Cole, baby. So my pick onto this match is obvious. 
Adam Cole, Bebe, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era, because this is the first takeover match for them as a team. I think they're going to win. By the, I'm hoping the ending of this match, I think Roderick Strong's going to turn heel. That's my, uh, that's my theory about this. Roderick Strong's going to turn heel on Arthur Sabay and join the Undisputed Era. And we can have a four-man duo. I mean, four-man faction. Yeah, that is... I think that's the thing they're gonna go. Okay, and think that it... Yeah, it's only f six matches. If we, if you don't count Pete Dunne and Johnny Gargano matches, it's only five. No one of the takeover match are... Take the, take the NXT takeovers are so good. Okay, uh, let me... I'm gonna say again. The dark match between Pete Dunne and Johnny Gargano... Pete Dunn's gonna win, and Arthur Sapain versus Roger uh, Arthur Sapain, Sanity versus Undisputed Era in a War Games match. Uh, Undisp Undisputed Era is gonna win. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> and Ember Moon versus Kyrie Sane versus Nikki Cross versus Peyton Royce for the NXT Women's Championship. Ember, Ember Moon's finally gonna win. And Drew McIntyre versus Andrade Cien. Andrade and Almas singles match for the NXT ta uh, NXT World Heavyweight Championship. Drew Mc's gonna Drew McIntyre is gonna win. That's easy. And Alistair Black versus Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream is gonna win. The first loss for Alistair Black. And Cassius Ono versus Lars Sullivan. The least match I'm expecting to do. And Lars Sullivan is gonna win. So. <coughs> yeah that is it and then and let's go to the next pay-per-view the day after NXT takeover and that is Survivor Series oh shit <coughs> sorry about that let me check I'm opening that okay there it is so yeah Survivor Series Oh man, this is gonna be a long fuck fest. I'm telling you, it's gonna be like five hours or six hours, like WrestleMania. So the thirtieth annual of Survivor Series, uh, and it's a breaking rights like Raw vs SmackDown again, like last year. Yeah, like the day after NXT Takeover. So let's break down the match matches. And look at this. Oh my god, a lot of matches. No wonder the NXT shows are better than this. So let's start with the kickoff. Enzo Amore versus Kalisto for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Enzo Amore is the champion. I can't believe this guy won the title twice. I can't believe it. I'm real pissed off. Uh, Neville, please come back. I really miss you. Please. And my pick, who cares? Enzo Mori is gonna win. And on to the next match. Uh, so the this is a singles match. Uh, brand versus Brand, the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, going up against the United States Champion Baron Corbin in non-title Brand versus Brand match. Sorry about that. Look at my picks. And. This is a hard match to pick because it's also the least match I'm looking forward to. So I'm gonna go with the Miss. Easy, the Miss. The Miss is gonna win because I'm not seeing Baron Corbin win. Because this is a heel versus heel, and the crowd will go ape shit. Not ape shit. Will cheer the Miss instead of Baron Corbin because they love Miss. Miss is awesome. And to the next match, team woman the, the women's team Raw versus SmackDown match. Team Raw against Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, Asuka, as I told you, Asuka, Sasha Banks, and Bailey. And going up against Team SmackDown, Becky Lynch, Carmella, Naomi, Tamina. And forgot to tell you, Team SmackDown uh, left an open one more. Oh, one more person. It's only four women, so one more, 
woman might join this Sunday. Everybody's saying it's Paige. Paige is gonna return to Survivor Series. I don't know. Um, I don't know who's gonna join. I think it might be Natalia or Paige. These two guys, these two women will join. These two women or one will join the team. So yeah, my. I'm gonna pick Team Raw because they got Asuka. Asuka need this win more than any woman in this match. Asuka's gonna annihilate everybody. He's got, like like Rome Reigns on 2013 Survivor Series. Asuka's gonna dominate the Survivor Series women's team elimination match and she's gonna win for the team. Okay, and my pick is Asuka. Asuka's gonna be the sole survivor. Team Raw. Team Raw. Women's Team Raw. And off to the next match. Another brand versus brand. SmackDown versus Raw match. It's gonna be against the Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss. Going on, going up against SmackDown's Women's Championship Charlotte Flair. Oh man, I, I love her. I love you Charlotte. One day I will marry you. Someday. Brandon, I know you, man. Don't you dare touch her. Um, so, yeah. Charles Flair won the title against Natalia. Like, two days on... Two, not two days ago. This Tuesday. Last Tuesday on SmackDown. Yeah, she... I think she's gonna go up against Alexa Bliss. So, I've got afraid. I'm gonna go with... God dang it. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna be so mad after editing this video. Alexa Blaze gonna win. Yeah, she's gonna win. Yeah. And that's the reason why they put the tile on Charles because they're gonna protect. Uh, I think they're gonna protect Alexa Blaze. And I don't know. I think Alexa Blaze might win clean or dirty pin. Yeah, but Alexa Blaze is gonna win. She's gonna win. Okay. So on to the next match and another brand versus brand like I'm gonna stop saying that because every match is a brand versus brand on this pay-per-view god dang so this is the um, the and this the match I am more anticipating one of the match I am anticipating to watch and that is the shield the original shield Dean Ambrose Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins they re have reunited Against the New Day, Big E, Kofi, and Xavier Rush in six-man tag team match. I'm telling you, this match is going to blow the roof out of the building. This is the best, will be the best match on the card. Because when Roman, Roman Reigns, I fucking hate Roman Reigns. But when he was in the Shield, I loved it. I love Roman Reigns. And I love Seth and Dean too. Those three guys were magic when they when they were together and i'm thinking the shield's gonna win because of the, this is the first match since they are reunited as a shield faction because i think in a tlc roman reigns got that flu or something he never had to uh, participate in that match curtain was the replacement so this is the first uh, legitimate Legitimate re reunion. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get in close at the camera. God damn, I, I dropped the pen. Uh, let me get it, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. And. Oh, what match are you talking about? Yeah, the Shield. This is the real reunion of the Shield. And they're gonna go over against the New Day. And on to the next match is. And um, is a tag team tag champion tag team championship non title match. <coughs> Sorry, Cesaro and Sheamus, the bar, the raw, the new raw tag team champions again going up against the Usos, the SmackDown tag team champions. And man, I was hoping for Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins against the Usos, but that didn't happen. God dang it, WWE, why do you do that? I don't understand. And let me, let me check the camera. Okay. I don't understand, WWE, why are you doing like this? Man, I need a shower. Um, and my pick is the Usos. Easy. The Usos are going to win. Because before the uh, before Survivor Series started, I'm telling every... I picked every Raw 
Raw guys to win like The Miz to uh, Asuka from Raw, Alexa Bliss from Raw, The Shield from Raw and we need a Smackdown to win, we need Smackdown to win too so I'm picking Usos, Usos gonna win and on to the other match, the men's Team Raw vs Team Smackdown Survivor Series Elimination Match Kurt Angle, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor uh, Samoa Joe and the final member is Triple H it should have been Jason Jordan because Jason Jordan got injured I think and Triple H replaced him by doing a pedigree on Jason Jordan typical Triple H and going up against Team Smackdown Shane McMahon, Randy Borrington, Bobby Roode the glorious one, Shinsuke Nakamura and John fucking Cena are you fucking kidding me it's like no legit announcement like twi on Twitter Shane McMahon announced John Cena is gonna be the participant for Smackdown he just competed on Raw or with against Roman Reigns on No Mercy what the fuck you thought he was a free agent and why is he on Team Smackdown all of a sudden free agents don't do that god dang this this is why sometimes I hate the brand split okay and this is a tough one man tough 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 one either Team Smackdown or Team Raw my theory is to in Team Raw either Jason Jordan's gonna screw Team Raw losing either or either Team Smackdown gonna lose uh, by Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn gonna cost Shane McMahon and Smackdown to lose it that's the only possible thing these two things will happen at Survivor Series so I think I'm gonna go with thing probably I'm gonna go with uh, Team Smackdown I think Team Smackdown because Smackdown really needs at least two wins because yeah everything I picked is only raw I think Smackdown gonna score two and this this match and the Usos will score two points well, I mean what am I saying it's gonna score two ma two wins against this bra bragging rights survive series okay I think I'm gonna go with Team Smackdown even though the interference will happen but I'm gonna go with Team Smackdown okay and the next match I think this might be the main event of Survivor Series 2017 might be and it's it's an on title match uh, the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar uh, going up against the WWE Champion the Monday Maharaja Jinder fuck you I'm not gonna say Jinder Mahal even though I'm Indian it's not Jinder Mahal sorry about that the newly new WWE World Heavyweight Champion AJ Styles yeah he won the title and somebody don't watch WWE thought Jinder Mahal was the champion wrong he lost to AJ Styles two weeks ago so AJ Styles is the champion so the match is set uh, Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles a non-title uh, non-title singles match and I'm gonna I'm gonna upset some fans even though nobody watches my videos I think Brock Lesnar is gonna win yeah he's gonna win with one at five or two two or one he's gonna beat AJ Styles AJ I don't mind losing but they're building Brock Lesnar to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34 I'm I'm clearly seeing that that's that's the match of Vince having wet dreams about every night and, and Brock's Le Brock Lesnar is gonna win he's gonna win the match uh, at least the match is happening the dream match everybody like always wanted the dream match between AJ and Brock I think AJ will carry I think AJ is gonna mostly carry the match because he is the phenomenal one he can have a uh, he, he doesn't have a, any bad match so he doesn't have he doesn't have so many bad matches. He, he only had great 
fantastic matches in the WWE so far, except Kevin Owens in the SummerSlam. And yeah, I think that's the card for Survivor Series. So let me break it down again. Um, the pr the kickoff show for Survivor Series, Enzo Amore. Enzo Amore is gonna win. And Brock Lesnar is AJ Styles. Brock Lesnar is gonna win. Team Raw is Team SmackDown men's version. Uh, Team SmackDown is gonna win. Uh, oh, I, I didn't say about the Soul Survivor. I think the Soul Survivor might be Shinsuke Nakamura or Bobby Roode. These two guys, Bobby Roode or Shinsuke Nakamura. I don't see Shane, Randy, uh, John. God dang it. John are being the sole survivors of that team. I'm saying Bobby Roode or Shinsuke Nakamura. And the, the bar, Shizaro, oh my god, Shizaro and Sheamus. Going on to an Usos, the Usos are gonna win. And the Shield versus New Day, the Shield's gonna win. Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss is gonna win. And Team Raw, Women's Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. Asuka is going to win for Team Raw. And the least match that I expecting. The Miz uh, versus Baron Corbin. Obviously, the Miz is going to win. No doubt about it. So, yeah. So, that is that Survivor Series for you guys. So, this is my first ever predictions video. I might do another upcoming pay-per-views. Uh, this is my first video. Hope you like it or dislike it. Put in the comments below. Like, dislike, share, subscribe.